you guys are playing to me, and you know what we're playing, MCSN, you probably don't know what it stands for, it stands for, put up the volume up a little bit, not this, volume, okay, it's all the way up, you probably know, yeah, it's loading, with headphones, well, you see right there, and you know what the music is, and you know what that is. We are playing Minecraft Story Mode. We'll tap to begin. I am tapping. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. So, TTG account. Not now. Episodes. Available. They're all available. Season pass. Adventure Pass. Ooh, all right, all right. Let's see. I'm gonna go as a boy. Not a girl. If I get my... Regular boy Jesse. So it's this. Yeah. No, please, no. No, sorry. Well, I only have ep episode one, so let's go, guys and girls. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not that weird. Game series, adapt, churches, remake, story. It's Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths. Y yeah. Mm hmm. Simply, lies. Yep. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the far lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, yeah. unabridged as self evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have so long ago four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Oh. 
Okay. But when one story ends, another, another one, one could begin. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't uh, have any weapons yeah. or armor. Chicken sized zombies. So you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them. Crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Ruben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. One of these days, we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. Shears definitely taking these. You never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Okay, we're out of here. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition. 
But you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. Doesn't mean anything if we lose. I wish they were all going to be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Anything can happen, Olivia. Yep. Then why have we lost nine of these in a row? You can't... No, you can't look at this as a whole. The odds are refreshed each time. Maybe no one else will show up. Now you're being realistic. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Duh. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. So... You're not gonna, you don't wanna just weigh in with your opinion or, you know, just say words. Creeper it is, then. <sighs> Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing, then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's... That's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! Pair. Pair? <laughs> he said pair. Let's go, Ruby. Okay, Ruben, let me do some push ups. For no reason. No, 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 Reuben. Oh, Reuben, I almost drowned down there, right? Team name. 
We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We are the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Sack Roy out. Come on. I could record? What? Hold up. Oh my. Uh, I'm gonna record this. If it lets me, I'll do another record and I'll be a girl, guys. Oh my god. Well, Sackle Boy out.